This instructional video will demonstrate the proper use of QSWAB, Hygiena's environmental sample collection device. QSWAB is a ready-to-use sample collection and delivery device for environmental surface sampling. Each snap valve contains exactly one milliliter of either lithine broth or buffered peptone water. QSWAB can be used either wet or dry to sample surfaces. Test devices have a shelf life of 18 months at refrigerated temperatures. The materials you will need include a Q-swab and either an agar plate or dehydrated media film. The first step is collection. Write the test location on the label for easy identification. If the swab needs to be pre-moistened, break the snap valve to wet the swab tip before sampling. Remove the swab from the tube. Swab a 4 by 4 inch or 10 by 10 centimeter square area in a crisscross pattern, swabbing the area with even coverage. Apply sufficient pressure to create flex in the swab shaft. This maximizes sample collection and improves accuracy of test results. Be sure not to touch the swab shaft while collecting sample. Touching the swab shaft contaminates the test and will produce inaccurate results. Rotate the swab tip while collecting sample to ensure maximum sample collection. When swabbing an irregular surface, ensure the swabbing technique remains consistent and swab a large enough area to collect a representative sample. Replace the swab in the tube. The second step is activation. The easiest way to activate Q-swab is to hold the device in your fist and use the thumb and forefinger to break the snap valve by bending the bulb forward and backward. Next, squeeze the bulb twice to expel liquid into the tube. Then shake for five seconds. The final step is transferring the sample. Q-Swab rehydrates one agar plate or one dehydrated media film perfectly. To properly dispose of Q-Swab devices, disinfect by autoclaving or soaking in 20% bleach for one hour. Q-Swab may then be safely discarded in the trash. For more information about Q-Swab or any other Hygiena product, contact us with the information on the screen.